Welcome back to Sunday Brunch. We are in historic Annapolis at the original Iron Rooster, the one that started it all right across from the city dock. Upstairs in the, what room is this? This is the brick room. The brick room with owner Kyle Algays. I love this room. It has, it's so warm and cozy. It's warm, it's cozy, it's, um, it just makes you feel like you're in a historic place. I mean, the building's, you know, like I said, 110 years old, 116 years old. So yeah, it's got a, it's got a feeling to it. Like, it does, and you can overlook, you know, watch people walking around, look at the sailboats. And really we're the nice. tallest building on the block. So we got three stories here where ah. everybody else has two. So, you know, if, you, if you're walking up, you know, towards the building, you'll see we lean just a little to the left. <laughs> But don't worry, we're not falling over. <laughs> not falling over, not at all. You're not like nope. the Leaning Tower of Pisa no, or anything. Nope. But listen, you're making up some comfort food today. You're talking pot roast. Yeah, so our new menu comes out tomorrow. Um, all locations will have um, all these new menu items. Um, we're bringing the chili back. We've got mm. our pot pie coming back. Um, we've got an apple waffle crisp that we're doing. Um, just some neat kind of comfort food style, especially it's going to get colder. It's going to, you know, sort of be that that warm and comfy feeling. Yeah, this week food. it's getting colder, so this is just in time. Yeah, this will be ready for everybody to, to come in and get some comfort food and then go relax on the couch. What's in your pot roast? So, um, pot roast is one of those um, things that you gotta let cook, mm -hmm. right? It's low and slow for hours upon hours. So, uh, we take brisket and we'll we'll cube it. It's about a quarter inch or an inch and a half mm -hmm. size. Onions, carrots, um, tomatoes, um, just a whole kind of conglomeration of, uh, of different ingredients. We'll put that all together and then we'll cook it for about four hours. And then we'll cool it down, ready to go. And then um, as soon as we're ready to make a dish, we'll put it back in a saute pan. Brisket's one of those, it's like chili. It's better the next day. Absolutely. So um, so that's what I've got prepared for you. So right now I'm just reheating. And it um, almost looks like that meat can just fall right apart too. Yeah, and that's the, what you the want. brisket will be really, really tender. Mm -hmm. The carrots will be nice and tender too. So you've got a whole bunch of um, you know, different flavor profiles, but it's warm. It, it reaches your soul. And that's what you're trying to do. You want people to feel at home when they come here. Let's talk about your pot pie up there because that is a single serving. That's a single serving. So the cool part about our pot pie is most places that you'll see um, them do pot pie, they'll do it with a, um, uh, like a pie crust mm -hmm. on top. So we said, you know what, we're different. Let's be different. We do it with a biscuit top. So we take a, a biscuit, we cook it over the top of the pot pie. So underneath, you got that fluffy, buttery biscuit, oh. and on top, you got that crispy crust. That's awesome. You know, yeah. I, I would just reach in and just lift the top right <laughs> off, but it looks so pretty just the way it is. All right, over here, you have your apple roost tart, and this is this is new for your menu. Yeah, so we'll bring this back starting mm -hmm. tomorrow, um, and, you know, everybody loves the slow-cooked apples, especially in the fall, and it's one of those requests that we get every fall is, when's the apple coming back? When's the pumpkin coming back? So we brought that back for the fall now. And you're always trying to change things up for folks, and you are getting more and more customers coming back to all four of your locations. Correct, yeah. Well, you know, we knew back in March that we were gonna have to jump from lily pad to lily pad to make this work, and in order to keep ourselves safe and to keep our guests safe. So, you know, we've tried to do as much as we possibly can to make sure that we have you know, the proper protocols in place, but also let people come out and enjoy themselves too. And you've got your outdoor seating here in Annapolis this weekend, yep. and then next week you're gonna have the more tents at your Canton location? Yeah, so Canton, will their, their tents will be up this week. Um, Annapolis' tents will be up this week as well. And, you know, we'll be able to give some people that still wanna try to maintain some, you know, outdoor dining distance to allow them to come in and, and, and still have that ability to sit outside. You know, and knowing going into the winter, it, it is gonna be a struggle. Look, it gets cold in Maryland. It does, it's gonna be a cold winter. You know, we, it, it may feel like, you know, 40 degrees is cold, but we know that it's gonna get even, even chillier as, as the year goes on. So, you know, we're gonna try to take care of people as best we can. And you're taking care of their insides, but you're also trying to make them comfortable when they're inside your restaurants. You have taken social distancing, you know, almost to a new level. You are very serious about this. Yeah, well, we follow all the guidelines. You know, we, we do temperature checks on our staff every single day. We do mm -hmm. a health questionnaire with our staff as well, just to make sure um, that we're keeping as many people as safe as we can. And from a distance perspective, we wanna make sure that, you know, people, feel comfortable as they're dining in as well. Kyle, I remember looking at you in March when everything got shut down and you actually made us a trip out to the station to hand us some food and we looked at each other and there were tears in my eyes and I was just like, I, I, I want you guys to be okay. Yep. And I'll never forget you telling me, failure is not an option. Failure is not an option. <laughs> it, and, and it hasn't been, and you know, we've taken that kind of mantra with ourselves mm -hmm. to say, you know, Whatever happens today, we'll figure it out and move on to tomorrow. And like I said, if we can keep jumping, you know, from these lily pads, then yeah, it's not an option. We're gonna make it through. Yeah, you have all these employees that you're trying to take care of, and you're trying to take care of the community. You have a big fundraiser coming up that we you're supporting. Do. So um, on November 7th is the um, Taylor Wild Forever Smiles sixth annual golf tournament, and um, we've been a sponsor every year. And 
it's just a, it's a great way to give back to the community. They're doing wonderful things. Um, Taylor was such a good kid. He died in a, in a uh, training accident with the Marines, and his family's gotten together and wanted to be able to give back themselves. So if we can help support them, uh, they put together a, a scholarship that they give away to Severna Park High School seniors. So if we can help the local community and people that have always supported us throughout the years, then there's no better way. Absolutely, and supporting those who serve our country as well. That's it. And we want to look at this because you topped, you put the pot roast on top of decadent looking mashed potatoes. Yeah, so we had the mashed potatoes and then I'll put a little more fried onions because, you know, it's yeah, Sunday. It's Sunday why not? And then exactly. we take some, uh, almost like onion rings, we'll um, batter up some onions, mm -hmm. uh, deep fry them real quick, and then you got kind of that crispy part of the onion and then a real soft exterior or interior with the mashed potatoes and the and the pot roast and it works out well. How fun to be able to come to your Annapolis location. This We've never done time. this. I this know. is awesome. Well, we appreciate you guys coming in and all, all, obviously always the support that WBL gives us as well. So uh, awesome. uh, Kyle, we love you. We love the Iron Rooster. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure.